Hello friends, I just wanted to quickly introduce you to a Hoya that is very popular right now, and rightly so, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous Hoya. Uh, it is the Hoya Sunrise, and this is my big Hoya Sunrise. Uh, you can see all of these beautiful crimson leaves from being sun stressed. When I got this plant, he was all green, and he just hung in an east-facing window all summer and has been just naturally turning this beautiful red color on his leaves. I'm gonna put him in front of a grow light here soon because we're in winter and I want him to continue growing as fast as he is. I have 10 new baby leaves coming on him. I also want um, more of the leaves to sun stress because that is what makes this particular plant so popular is that gorgeous sun stressing that comes from being a hybrid of the Obscura, which I have right here. Mine is not sun stressed, but this is where the sunrise gets its ability to sun stress. This particular uh, variety of Hoya gets a gorgeous, gorgeous deep crimson red when it's sun stressed and looks very, very similar to how the Hoya sunrise looks when it's sun stressed. However, these leaves generally are a lot bigger and it is a mix of that Obscura and the La Canosa here. I feel like it got its sun stressing ability from the Obscura and the kind of leaf shape from the Lacanosa. Um, their smaller leaves are more pointy and that resembles more of the sunrise shape. Um, it is just an amazing Hoya. It grows so fast. It sun stresses and it is so easy to maintain. Normal Hoya maintenance, so you want a very fast draining Hoya soil mix and I'm going to be doing a video on my favorite mix that I make for all of my Hoyas. Um, you want normal bright light that Hoyas all love. However, with this particular kind of Hoya, if you want more of that sun stressing, that beautiful crimson color, then you'll want to give it more light than you normally would. Um, like I said, this particular one I'm going to be putting under grow lights just to keep it growing as fast as it already is and um, and then also get it really sun stressed. When it gets fully sun stressed, the leaves turn red and then the veins stay this like yellowy green. It's just this beautiful contrast. So he's very, very easy to take care of. I would consider him my fastest growing Hoya, my easiest growing Hoya. Um, in terms of watering, just like all the other Hoyas for the most part that I have, they tell you when they're thirsty. Now, most people that have Hoyas know that the newer leaves are generally a lot softer and then as the leaves age, they become more rigid and wax-like. That's why they call these wax plants is because those leaves get very, very um, hard and rigid and, uh, and, and they really do give you a good idea of what's going on with the plant. So when my Hoya are thirsty, since they store so much water in their leaves, the older leaves tend to get a little bit softer. Um, you know, they're definitely less wax-like and they tend to get little wrinkles on the back. So I generally walk by my Hoya every day and I have a lot of them. I feel their older leaves and uh, make sure that they're still pretty hard and rigid. And then I'll just glance at the back of some of the leaves to see if there's any wrinkles. If I see just a few wrinkles, and they're not gonna be all over the back of the leaves, but just a few wrinkles on some of the leaves, that tells me that it's probably time, and not too late, of course, to water. That's just one of those small signs. So my best suggestion with all of your Hoyas is to just really get to know them. Know how they feel and how they look normally when they're not thirsty. And, um, and, then, and then watch for that. Um, generally, most of mine tell me that they're thirsty that same exact way. I have a few that are exceptions to the rule that throw me for a loop every now and then. This one is not one of the exceptions. He is very vocal about when he's thirsty and he shows me very easily. Again, be sure and check the older leaves, which are obviously are gonna be you know, more towards the bottom. These are so rigid and hard. These newer leaves are very, very, very soft and that is normal. That's normal. So be sure that you check 
the older leaves for that stiffness when you're considering watering. But other than that, this particular Hoya is wonderful. If you are on the fence, because I know that these can be very expensive right now because they're so popular, um, they're worth it. They really are. I know that the price of Hoyas have gone up quite dramatically lately. Um, this particular one is one that I would say is probably worth the price as a cutting or as a plant. They root very easily, so if you can only find a cutting, just know that, um, you know, I've taken multiple cuttings off of this guy. I've rooted them in um, moss, in leca. Um, I've rooted them in water. They root very, very easily. So don't be afraid to pick up a cutting of one of these or a plant. Very, very easy to maintain, very fast growers and, uh, and beautiful if you can make sure that you get them in, in direct sunlight or in front of a, uh, a grow light. You will not be uh, disappointed with the beautiful foliage that they gives you. So I hope that this helps if you're on the fence about buying one of these gorgeous sunrises. Um, I don't think you'll be disappointed and, uh, and I think you will enjoy how easy they are in terms of growing and maintaining. So thank you for your time. I hope this was helpful. Until next time, be well.